Okay, getting MLP vlog time again for the third, you know, time for King and Eight. Go today, Capricode, and fake it till you make it. Uh, written, everything written by Josh Hamilton. You know, I'm glad to go to the overall because to find out. Uh, no, wait, no. Uh, yeah. He had Parental Gliden and Triple Fret and Kiko Kampai. So, all fine, but nothing great. Upper code, yeah, we have flaws. And, uh, but, anyway, on to the one. Baking and Wake Upper Code, you know, I had, um, basically, while we were already gone doing something, she had Flash Eye take care of the boutique. And, um, Flash Eye was kind of a little slow at first, but, you know, we already could just, you know, you know, come alive to put your confidence and then I go while putting on, you know, a different outfit. And basically, Fresh Eye got becoming all the different personas that she used in order to take her costume and go get kind of hand. AKA Flip, but for kids. <laughs> I know Garden Companions we make, but that. I, I looked through one tour and no one making Flip jokes, so I guess I have to be one to do it. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, but. And one of the movies will have a twin torture and got to be, uh, no, I got to it. <laughs> but yeah, this time was just fun. It's fun to keep us trying to take on these different um, personas. You know? You know, she has the goth pony. And she has the um, pony you can like a lot. Because she inherits something from the biscuits, I guess. <laughs> so, wow, can I mess up here? Uh, go at the old good back on that front. Um you know, it's mostly just her adopting a Procona again of course. You know, thinking on hand. You know, it's simple and it works. Pretty funny overall. Um you know, story wise relatively big of course, um, you know, in terms of what she learned and all that, but you know, hey. Um and I you could argue we've got a little bit of rehashing into the flush eye. Here, but like, considering that doing something like this is going to do her and she keeps my confidence, not so much being shy. <laughs> I think it makes sense, so to me it worked pretty well. Then, you know, just, you know, yeah, it's a lot of yeah, fun stuff with her you being ridiculous, like the golf pony and whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, that point kind of that's random, but then really good for getting into a room and doing that. Yeah. <clears throat> It got more of combat than anything else, but actually story and character wise, everything all pretty solid, everyone act supposed to, but more solid, but it's more about like comedy, but actually, it's nice when they get to do mostly just wacky stuff, but it's not a good queen overboard, and it definitely just can play a fun up and combat, it keeps them pretty well, I had the time kind of with it, but I kind of get the string from I didn't know getting wacky, it did, but um, I like when I did that, you know, that could be really well. You know, only issue could be I'm at a maybe TV movie. As seen it also, maybe they should go to the story and the great book. And I focus on that. I think it could better a kind of book go than the aforementioned thing for Pine, which I like fine. Um, you know, I feel like I've been more given of the person that could go far because I like to look at other ones, but they're a little uneven in places, and you know, that for one, but this one is pretty keep thing to all the way through. I don't have much more to get. Well, I'll watch it. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to have a lot to get. You know? And again, I don't want people to pay attention to every single detail all the time. Go. That's why I come up and go. I get a lot of detail files. Come up and go. I'm like, that's yeah, fine. Plus, we're nothing like device or anything weird like that. Like, one of last week, which I can play to like a reaction, which is why I was expecting. We have a character like, you know, technically. But. <laughs> Mr. Fake it till you make it. Hey, pick up. Yeah, we did that can work upon too. Um, yeah, that's how uh, I'm going with. <laughs> yeah, um. Yeah, yeah. Go, well, yeah. That's it for that episode. It feels like I get to go again. It's pretty, pretty, pretty fun. And simple. It's not too complicated. And it definitely, it worked in a favor. I enjoyed it. So, mm. Next week in Granny Gone Wild, ooh, naughty. <laughs> well, that one comes, well, that one comes pretty interesting, so I'll see you next week for that. Yeah, no, I'll fly up the I apologize, but it's relatively simple. 
but good ball in a good way. And I'm sure apart from play RB where I can't fucking get my coach when you join them. But I wanna keep Vyong relevant in QB four from now on because I should be with Vyong Garth. I'm not totally back to them all the time. AKA I'm more other projects I do, I care about more than the Vyong because these are too easy and simple. So <laughs> So yeah, next week with Granny Gone Wild, radar. Um, I'm rambling.